Ooh, spider alert. Oh, very nice spider. Very nice spider. That's a good one. This one's at 80 discount. Any any Oakner is taking this one because we're doing the 90 lot, but we're doing it at 80. So, and Oakner takes this one. Very good claim. I'm gonna write you down. And let's microscope it real quick. Boom, very good spider. And that's a very well-preserved one too. He was definitely fully alive when he got caught. Bo Ali, but okay, so you need more water and growing trees that can stand the heat, but can you grow like cucumbers, tomatoes, zucchini, the typical like garden vegetables, like can you grow those? Cause mine get destroyed in the heat, but they're also adapted for my area. So maybe you can just find ones that are adapted for that area. Next one up, another really clear one. Small piece, which looks to have a very clear insect. Let's see. Diptera fly, because it only has two wings. Lakoti's taking this one. Or is it a mosquito? Oh, I think it's a mosquito. It could be. Oh, that's a really clear one. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus, so that's why. Lakoti takes this one. And there's other little bugs too, but that one's very clear. Oh yeah, that's a mosquito. Good job, that's a really good one. Uh, how in the world does this happen? Because the, a tree exudes this sticky resin to protect itself when, it, when a branch breaks. And then this mosquito lands on the resin. Stuck. This one's at 80 and this one is going to Lakoti. Good claim. If I put this here and I try and explain this really well, I might try and make a little clip that you guys will see on YouTube or TikTok or something later. Um, okay, so this is a mosquito in amber from Myanmar, a hundred million year old fossil. So this mosquito is alive a hundred million years ago, preserved in very good detail as you can see. And mosquitoes existed back then just like they do today and there's many different species of them and they're all very different. So you might find that this doesn't necessarily look like any mosquito that exists today because they've evolved since then, but it could be also very similar to a species today. It just depends on if you like can see mosquitoes a lot and if you observe them. And then uh, this is the one that the Cody claimed and I'm going to put it under the microscope real quick. A tree exudes this sticky resin when it gets a branch broken or something like that. And then if this mosquito lands on the resin, he's caught. There's no chance of him escaping because it's like landing on a pile of glue. And then boom, forevermore, he becomes preserved in amber. And this guy is amazing. He has two wings, so he's of the diptera order. And he's an excellent, excellent grade preservation. Woo, all right, I'm gonna... I don't know how, how deep I am into the feed, so I can't write down. But I'm gonna try and clip that later too. Was that good, guys? Was that a good spiel? Is that a good spiel? Who got this piece? Lakoti. This piece is going to you. Interesting piece coming up. Another small piece, but it is a very ring-shaped cab. Small piece with a big insect. Very large beetle in here. Not sure what species. And there's also a mosquito upside down from him. Thank you, Anthony. Oh, we posted a new video today with my new video editor. I don't think it's a flea. Although if it is, it's a big flea. It could have been a flea. This flea could have fed on a dinosaur. Could be a big flea. But something, uh, something about it. This one's at 80 and it's a very good cap. If you make a ring out of it, I don't know if you'll see the mosquito up top, but you'll see that beetle like crazy. Actually, that beetle really pops with the background. So that's a good one. Ali Pow taking this one. Antenna, this is a slab. And it has a cricket with very nice antenna. Actually, I think it has two crickets. Keith, are you here? Because I think Keith is my cricket guy. And cr the difference between crickets and grasshoppers is that crickets have much longer antenna than grasshoppers. So these guys, boom, long antenna, that's how you can tell. And obviously the body with those big legs. This guy too. Looks like it might have been mama and baby. This one is at 80, yes. And then we have a little mosquito over here on this side. 
Little tiny mosquito, beautifully preserved. That's a slab of amber with two crickets and a mosquito and possibly some more. Ali Pai, you want to switch for your last one? No problemo, you got it. And leaf. Oh, dude, Anthony Villarreal with the, the vision today. Look at that, that's like a full, it's like a blade of grass type leaf, but look at how it tapers at the end and everything. That's a nice little botanical inclusion right there. So Ali Pal, your last piece with the large beetle that looks like a flea is going back on the table. That's piece number seven. And this one, is yours. SU1, you want to see seven? You want to see seven before I, before we go? Check this out. Check this one out before we go. And that's a really poppin' cab, I will say. I will say that's a really poppin' insect and amber cab. They don't always pop that hard. And the fact that it's like such a black beetle and a yellow piece. The fleetle. SU1 take. I think that's a really good take. This would make an amazing jewelry piece. That's a good one. This, uh, this one actually is giving me some really good vibes. Let me know if you make jewelry out of it. Very good. Okay, that is the last sale of the day. Thank you for joining. And you guys, I will be back again. I'll be live again tomorrow and expect your invoice within the hour. See you guys tomorrow. Much love. Adios.